Hey everybody, it's Brian. Welcome to the 39th Flutter tutorial. Today we are going to be going over date and time pickers. This is kind of a little bit of a complex one. I've had a few questions on how to use this thing. People seem to be mystified about it. And when you go into the documentation, you can see there is a kind of a rough template of what you need to do here. There's a future with a date time show picker. And it kind of, you know, I don't want to say it's difficult to understand, but for somebody who's new to this, it definitely has a little bit of a learning curve on how to use these things. So we're going to jump right in and just do it now. I should note that I am very closely following the source code, the official Flutter GitHub repository. Um, not on all tutorials, but on this one specifically, I am actually pretty much just ripping out these two functions uh, simply because it's really the only real way to do it. It's pretty efficient. So just wanted everybody to be aware of that. So we're going to say add our Flutter tutorial live template. If you have no idea what that is, it's because you did not watch the 35th video where I showed you how to build a live template. All right, so we're gonna import the Dart async so we can work with futures. And we have our main with our stateful widget and our state, and we're just gonna actually build into this thing. And we are going to say uh, date time date equal new date time now. And we're going to say, what is it, time of day, time equal new, time, whoops, I want time of day, not that, time of day, not now. So we're just going to grab the current date and the current time here. Now, what we want to do is write two functions, one to grab the date and one to grab the time. So we're going to say future, maybe if I could spell future. And we're going to say uh, select date. This is, of course, an async. Why are you not popping up on me here? Hmm. I think I broke my IntelliSense. Let's see if it'll start. Maybe if I did it like this and actually did it correctly. There we go. Man, it's frustrating when you're typing and IntelliSense just decides it doesn't want to work because you didn't know what you're typing to begin with. But uh, Anyway, so we're going to say final. And when you type show, you're going to see there's a show dialog, show bottom, blah, blah, blah. We want the date picker. And you can see it has a lot of properties. So we are going to term that. Oh, I'm trying to figure out why this thing is freaking out on me. It's because it's an async function. We have to await it. There we go. I was staring at the screen going, why is that complaining? All right, so we have our show date picker function and we want to actually add in the build context here. That way the dialog knows where it's coming from. There's our context. And for our initial date, we want to just say the date and this is where it gets a little confusing. You have a first date and a last date. Well, you don't want them going all the way back to the beginning of time, and you, you don't want them going all the way forward to the end of time. So you have to say, like, uh, new date time, and we're just going to say the earliest they can go back is 2017. Actually, let's say 2016. And we'll say new date time. Oh, this thing goes 2019. So we're going to really limit their choices here. Then what we need to do is kind of monitor this thing. If picked, well, that's not even an if statement. What was I thinking there? There we go. Not equal null. And picked is not equal to the current date. We're just adding a little bit of logic here. Actually, I don't want that. Then what we're just going to do is we're going to say print. going to grab that two string and then we're just going to set state here. And then we're just going to say the date is equal to the picked value. 
So there is our select date function in all of its glory. And we are just going to just completely copy this. Man, I am really screwed up today. New raised, new raised button. Too many positional arguments. What? Oh, I forgot the child. Got a little ahead of myself there. I was like, what are you talking about, Flutter? I know what I'm doing. Fortunately, I really don't know what I'm doing, apparently. So we're going to say select the date, and it should show the context in there. There we go. So anatomy of this code is very simple. We are going to return a future, which is actually a null. Uh, meaning we're not going to return anything, but we are going to use the async functions for this because this is an async call. We need to await it. So once we've actually awaited for this whole little block of code to finish, then we're going to have this picked value. We're going to make sure it's not null and it's not the currently selected date because we don't want to update a change if no change actually occurred. Then we're just going to simply print out our debug statement and then we're going to set the state so that we can track this whole thing all over again. Got our little emulator up and we are going to push this bad boy out. All right, give it a second to build. Oh, what have we here? Semicolon expected on press. What did I screw up? I think that's a pretty self-explanatory error. There we go. So there is our selected date. And if we hit select date, bang, there is the date selector. And Go back here, and there is our selected date. We said the earliest we could go back is 2016. Let's actually just test that real quick. Yeah, it won't let us go any further back. If we hit cancel, nothing happens. We select a new date, bang, get a new date. So that works pretty well. So what we're going to do next is we're going to actually Put in a new text as a spacer here. Don't like doing that, but I'm just kind of being lazy today. So we're going to add that, and then we are going to actually future with a null. our sync function. Let me get rid of this so we can actually see what we're doing here. And then we want a pretty much same design pattern. Final, time of day, picked, equal, await, and we want the show time picker. And this thing wants a context plus an initial time. So this is going to be pretty straightforward and easy to work with. So we'll give the context. Ooh, we haven't had the context in here. Got a little ahead of myself. There we go. And the initial time we're going to say is the time. Then we're just going to, for the sake of speed here, just copy and paste this. Bang. And we want to copy this. Very similar design pattern. We are just uh, using a synchronous call to the show time picker. We're waiting for that. And then once we get that, we're making sure the picked is not null and it's not the current time. And then we're just saving the state back up. So we are going to just continue with our blatant uh, copy and pasting here. That way it's very simple, very easy to understand. Hot reload should grab that. There we go. 
So now we can actually choose a time. And there we go, 9.30. And it'll pick it back up where we left off. We can say 7.30, 2.30, you know, whatever we wanted to do. So that, in a nutshell, is the date and time pickers. Uh, I hope you found this educational and entertaining. I thank you for watching. 